I'm excited to be here tonight to talk about what has become my favorite topic. <laughs> uh, it certainly wasn't that intention back in 2017. In fact, I had turned down the information on ASEA back in 2011, which was just about a year into when this product actually came to market. Um, but I will say that uh, chance into just looking at another top, another product that I was thinking could help my clients um, became a whole nother life in itself. And I know that if you're on the call this evening, you all own a cell phone, most probably, uh, or you certainly own a computer. And I just want to set a reference point here for really how important this is in what you're going to learn tonight if you're learning for the first time. And you will probably, I hope, take away from this the knowledge that you should be truly, truly, truly grateful to the person that invited you here by the time you walk away this evening. But if you have a cell phone or a computer, you'll know that over time, keeping those things working in optimal order, in peak performance, doing the things that we want them to do efficiently and quickly and accurately, is challenged by this need to update software in a regular basis, right, to keep our operating system at peak performance. And so I want to contextualize this to tell you that what we're talking about is the first and only opportunity to systemically do a system reboot for your body, to engage in keeping your operating system at peak performance. And if you have got a clunky old operating system that maybe you're, you know, you're having lots of challenges with and, uh, you know, you're wondering how to get it working at peak performance, this is probably the only thing that I will say I've ever come across in 20 years in this industry that can actually help reset every single cell in the body in a most optimal way. So what we're going to talk about is those things called redox signaling molecules. And I put up the missing link because when I started to investigate the science behind what seemed to be doing some remarkable and very unique things for me with clients as I tiptoed into sharing this with a few people, uh, I had to understand why. And as I started reading, I thought to myself, I wonder if this is the missing link. I wonder if this is the thing that I've been looking for that could pull everything together, no matter what it is that people choose to do, could take those things, could uh, lock them in, coordinate and just accelerate and amplify whatever other approach we were doing. That was my if and I wonder. Uh, it, it proved to definitely be that, but it became a lot more than that. And I'll explain that the reasons why for that as we go through this. So where does it start? It actually starts back in the late 90s. For These are the three gentlemen who were awarded a joint Nobel Prize for the discovery of the very first redox signaling molecule in the late 90s. Nitric oxide is that first one. And that changed the way that people began to look at redox signaling. This was establishing that these things were not um, irrelevant to our body and, and just a byproduct of the cellular respiration of the Krebs cycle, which is what they thought they were in the 60s, but they were literally essential for us to being alive more than a matter of hours. And they control and are engaged in every single outcome in the body. And what this did, this established the start of the annual world conference, and which has been going on in Paris, France ever since. And so we're 22 years into this field of research. Now, it may be new to you, it certainly was still new to me, and, and I just had an interesting and engaging conversation with an MD over the weekend who hadn't got a clue what this was and uh, is fascinated now by the whole thing, realized that he really knew nothing about redox, and that is very much what we see for um, clinicians who have been educated and graduated after 2010. If they're coming along after that, they're going to know a lot more about redox because science is teaching them about redox, and here's the examples of why. Over 1,400 books on the redox biochemistry. If we go to PubMed, which is all peer-reviewed published studies, you'll see they're in the hundreds of thousands. And you can cross-reference those. If you've got something you're bringing to the table today that is repair and damage that hasn't been just addressed by your body, maybe you know joints that are achy, maybe breathing troubles or cardiovascular issues, you can cross-reference redox and heart or redox and arthritis, whatever it is that you want to investigate. It's going to show you um, the breadth of what's being studied and looked at. Uh, the rest of the research that goes out there that doesn't get 
to be peer reviewed, which doesn't mean that it isn't relevant, uh, will end up on things like the gray papers in Google Scholar. And that's where you should continue to do real research, not Google itself, which is just a search engine, not a research engine. It can be very misleading though. Uh, and it has some really interestingly misleading information that talks a lot about being salt water because those people either haven't really done their research to understand what the mechanism is within the body that creates redox and why it has to be bioidentical, uh, or they've uh, got some other kind of agenda. And I did a lot of research to find that that was the case. Here's just a brief example within the United States of universities that have either complete redox departments or are investing a huge amount of research money into one aspect or another of redox itself. This is it's not even scratching the surface. And if we look around the world, you know, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of centers looking at this because it is fueling what has become and is currently the leading area of health science. So what is redox and where does it come from? Well, we go back to something really central within our cells called the mitochondria. And you're probably, if you remember high school biology, uh, and it seems that if you're a medical doctor, you know, don't want to read research and go back to learning about ATP, but that's where it sits. It's the fuel that produces the energy for everything that happens. Everything needs energy. We are a battery source, essentially. Your heart is electrical, right? Your heart stops, everything else stops. And that's because we need energy for communication. But as we produce this ATP, we also spin off these things called reductants and oxidants, positive and negative charges, They're like a dual balancing process of signal and response and signal and response that goes on across every single cell. It's made, as we talk about, from the saline within our cell. That is that salt water, which misleads everybody unless they do their research. And the body is brilliant because it, it breaks apart the sodium chloride, hydrogen, and oxygen. And like Chinese fire drill, everything runs around and it comes back in 20 different redox molecules. And they go off and they do all sorts of things. They're like the UPS system for the body, constantly creating communication, moving things back and forth as necessary. Well, redox is because we are made of 70 to 100 trillion cells that form our organ systems and every part of the body. Therefore, redox is in every organ system of the body. It affects every single major system within the, in the human body. So if you have challenges with your heart, you have damaged cells within the cardiovascular system. If you have challenges breathing, you have damaged cells that haven't been remedied within the respiratory system. If you have challenges with eating, you've got damaged cells and functions that don't take place within the digestive system. Nowadays, the most important one on everybody's mind would be the immune signaling system, right? Because if your system is not working at peak performance, it's not going to respond to the challenges or bacteria or viruses that your body naturally comes in contact with every single part of the day. So if this is looking at, you know, how we function at every single cell. Redox signaling molecules are that signal, that call to action that detects a damaged cell in the body. And it calls in the immune system to either protect the natural lifespan of a cell, which is what happens. So some of those cells might be gone in a few days within our stomach. They might be around for years within our bones, but there is a natural lifespan to every cell, depending upon where it is. And redox protects that natural lifespan to keep it healthy for its full life. Uh, however, if that detection says, well, here's a damaged cell, it's going to ask a couple of questions. Can it repair that damaged cell or does it have to eliminate it by causing it to die? That's what we call apoptosis, the death of a cell. And then we replace it with a healthy one to engage in what we all know as healing. And so without these redox molecules, literally healing doesn't take place and life can't exist. That's how essential they are. Now, what is the difference between how we function and how we feel at the age of eight or maybe when we're at the other end of our spectrum at the age of 80? Well, this is the connection to the amount of redox that we naturally have within every single cell of the body. We start losing these at an early age of around 15 at 1% per year. So every decade we're losing 10%. And as they get older, what we have becomes less efficient and the signaling is rather like old age and hearing. Uh, it doesn't signal so well. So it's really right like having an old, um, a bad cell phone signal in a bad area with two bars or one bar is a whole lot different in a communication system than you might have if you have five bars. So as we go down, we have less and less and those become essential. So we see the fact that we heal slower 
and the skin cells turn over slower and the body cells turn over slower and so we feel and see aging. Now one of the other challenges we have with age is also the diet and stress and environmental toxins really create some challenges. We know from published studies that redox balance is directly impacted by environmental toxins in pesticides. And so everybody's diet unfortunately has this in there either to a large degree or less depending upon your attention to how you eat, whether it's organic or non-organic. But we all live in the same planet and unfortunately pesticides in the air don't stay localized, it moves around. So there is really nothing we can do to completely protect ourselves. And we are seeing this as a very well-known marker as part of aging. Now, what would it be and what would it mean for our health overall if we could turn things around by actually reversing that aging process and be able to rebuild what we're naturally losing with age? If we were to consume something that replenishes that essential cell signaling function, what differences would we see after a month of replenishment or three months, six months and a year or beyond? Because that is what we're going to discuss today. How can you actually impact and reboot and reset everything Thing within the system by providing it with a larger resource of what is essential for you to stay healthy and optimal. So I would ask you that question. Are you one of these people who would love to look and feel younger and stronger and mentally sharper as you age so that you don't feel that decline, but you can stay optimal right to the end? A redox as a whole is pretty um, volatile. These things are made in every single cell. They're actually uh, made in nanoseconds. They function and they do what they need to do, rather like a firework. And so the instability has always been the challenge um, within science as to how do you stabilize something that, that, that is that volatile. They were, however, making them in little machines from the 90s. That's how these Nobel Prizes became awarded in the first place. And they would generate them on the spot, but they had a lifespan of about the 10 to 30 minutes max. And as you can see, that really didn't extend them to be anything useful. But the breakthrough within this field and this category of science, which is a whole new arena, which has never existed before, came about when a, a, a company was actually able to do what was thought to be impossible. And this created something that was at least 15 years ahead of its time. And that's back in 2007, when the stabilization of the molecules took place. It didn't come to market until 2009, but at that point was considered to be 15 years ahead, I would say in my experience of working with this product that we're still at least 15 years ahead of the market because nobody else has caught up with what this company has done. It's still the only one in the market. It created the category and um, it has a patented technology that uh, really defines it. Now, when you get experts involved in it and scientists and doctors who get to see the application uh, with the, the human body of replenishing and rebuilding, they actually talk a lot about this being close to the discovery of DNA and penicillin and really considered very much to be the greatest health and athletic and anti-aging breakthrough because it did something that was considered impossible. How did they stabilize something with anything beyond a 30 minute lifespan? Well, that is a patented process that took them at least 18 months, building off of 10 years of intellectual research and um, published studies. Uh, and what they found was a way to actually, over a three and a half day process, break those bonds up in the same way that the cells do in a nanosecond. So the body is always going to be smarter than we are and be able to stabilize them now with a lifespan of 15 months. That's a game changer, right? Because now you go from something that has no usable benefit to anybody outside a clinical um, environment to actually being able to help somebody in general life. And so these atoms are restructured and stabilized in bioidentical molecules. I mentioned the anti, the athletic benefits. We have a lot of Olympic athletes and professional athletes using this product. That's always a big clue to me because it, when you get anything into an Olympic athlete and the doctor I spoke to at the weekend was astounded when he, he kept saying, you mean this product? You don't just mean redox, you mean this product? And I said, yes, this product. 
Uh, when you give something and you get approval for something to be used for an, uh, an athlete, you know that there's at least probably about five to ten doctors behind that decision uh, to allow that because they are considered like the Maserati of the human performance world and everything has to be pristine. They can't risk their reputation on anything that could be um, tainted or, you know, drug related. And we use it because the clinical studies at the Appalachian Human Performance show that they have a greater endurance, much better stamina recovery, and much sharper mental acuity. Well, you don't have to be an Olympic athlete to want all of those things in your daily life. You know, how would it feel if you could have much more endurance, if you could have much more strength in your life, if you could feel alert and energetic at the end of the day when you come home and still be wide awake and ready to engage in your life instead of sitting on the couch and going to sleep? All right. How would it feel if you could recover much faster from a day in the garden without aching? And how would it feel if you could have better memory and much sharper recovery in a mental way? Now, I think that that's huge and that that can really benefit all of us. So by 2016, here we see a development. The Huffington Post is actually talking about five emerging technologies in science that will shape our lives to come. The fourth one within this field was redox signaling technology. The other four were actually research uh, facility projects. They actually hadn't come to market. And so in the greater um, part of this actual article, we actually talk about ASEA. They're actually talking about it because it's the only company doing this and they had actually stabilized it. And so you'll see at the bottom of the page, you talk about this capacity to be able to insert healthy redox signaling molecules into our body and repair or replenish aging cells. Well, raise your hand if you'd like that. Who wouldn't? I don't think it really matters who you are or what you want. Right, Tracy? We would love to uh, you know, reverse those aging cells. Now, if we look at studies specifically on this product, we know some different things. We know that it boosts our antioxidant level. We know that it protects our oxidization of LDL and DNA. DNA is the blueprint of your body. But it also protects and improves the signaling, the expression of that DNA in your gene signaling. And you'll see five areas there that are really important to our overall health, no matter what you have going on. If I have a client comes into me and my practice and they've got a challenge, it's going to be in one of those five areas. So let me talk about that study. This is a double blind um, placebo controlled study done at Torrit Labs. And their goal was to look at if we consume a CA redox, does it have any impact of any benefit whatsoever on the gene signaling pathways in the body? And what they took was healthy 35 year olds. So this is not even people who are in their 50s or 60s or older who might be noticing things. These are 35 year olds. We hope we don't really see too much at that age. We expect to be pretty much at peak performance still. But what they saw was that 100% of those participants actually had a 20 to 31% improvement in the way that their genes communicated the expression. And those were the five things that we just showed you, ways to improve the immune system health, help maintain healthy inflammatory response, help maintain cardiovascular health and support uh, vein elasticity, to improve gut health and digestive enzyme production. That's my subspecialty, so I was particularly interested in those benefits, and I've seen that play out across the board with every single person that's used this product. And to modulate hormone balance and support vitality and wellness. You know, that goes both sides. I think very very often we think it's more about women, but you know, men have hormonal challenges too, and we all want to be vital and live healthily. The other side of that placebo is interestingly enough, they use that salt water, right? So when you see things like, you know, disparaging statements in the Google about salt water and it not being effective or not even being real, here they use the salt water that the company takes and puts through the three and a half day process to become that, that a patented approved redox uh, molecule system. And the saline here actually had a 0% response. If you're not familiar with statistics in science, you'll, uh, you may not be aware that you just don't have a 100% response to anything that they test. And neither do you have a 0% response on placebo because the brain can trick us into thinking that if something might be helpful, it can change things within our body. So I just want to take a second out of those five genes. I want to show you the inflammatory signaling pathway. My reason for doing this is because one name doesn't show us the whole picture. In each of those signaling pathways, it's like opening multiple doors behind that first door. 
And so we have 15 other pathways that we're influencing. And so if you think about things like the first pathway, serotonin, that's the feel happy piece. If you have gut issues, you're going to have brain issues because that's where the serotonin is made. Circadian rhythm, the importance of sleep and restoration for the body is essential. Human thyroid signaling, you know, we've seen lots of people get off medication when they start to rebuild uh, with redox. The insulin piece is really interesting. It's well published uh, in The Lancet that diabetes is a redox deficiency, and that's by James Watson, who won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of DNA. And the NRF2 pathway was the area I was busy researching and working in in 2011 when I turned down ASEA because the person who shared it with me didn't know enough to tell me that ASEA not only turned on our ability to create our own maximum capacity of antioxidant enzymes in every single cell 24 7 but she didn't know that it did that and it did everything else and it did way way more than the other product that I was working with to do just that one thing why is that important because these are the most important forms of antioxidants they are the response to the signal for damaged cell the body brings in the healing part of it that anti-inflammatory part to do the healing and the repair and and that is the glutathione. Uh, if you're paying attention and keeping up with research that's going on related to the current world affairs, you'll know that studies have come out talking about the deficiency of glutathione that's going on across the board with people who are severely challenged at the moment. It is your master antioxidant. And if we don't have that, it's like the light switch for the antioxidant supplements. They don't get turned on. One of the other studies on this product shows that we actually switch it back on by up to 800%. That is a major piece. Glutathione is written up and known to be connected in deficiency levels to 80 known major diseases. And the older you are and the sicker you are, the less glutathione you have. So if this is the only thing that you got from this product, I would tell every single person on the planet, this is essential to your health and to staying at a more optimal level. Now, you might have wondered about the uh, vitamin and nutrient component. There is no nutrient component within a SEA. Uh, you get that from your food and from nutrient supplements as well. But SEA does not have that. There's no nutritional component. But however, what a SEA is, it takes the materials from those nutrients that you eat in your food and the supplements that you give yourself. And like building a house, that's the materials to build the house, the cell. Right? And this is the labor to deliver and make use of and turn those materials into the end product of a healthy, accurate cell, the house that we live in. And so they go together, and this is really where I felt like it was the missing link, that they lock together and they make sure that we can use the things that we're consuming. So it primes those cells to be ready. And whether you're consuming a Sears supplements or whether you're consuming other supplements, I know that you're going to see an increase in an enhanced performance and outcome from that because it primes the cells. I want to take a second to go. It took them five years to take the drink that we consume, those redox signaling molecules that we take in the bottle uh, here, and actually be able to stabilize it and put it into a gel technology. This was the actual product that really caught my attention and made me play around with it back in 2017. And thank goodness it did come out because I might not be here. Um, and this was amazing. It is actually a skincare product, but it is an all over body skincare product, but it is a lot more than that. Now, the reason it's called Renew 28 is because there are clinical studies done it on it that show that it changes the skin surface turnover by 16% in 28 days. I don't think there's anybody sitting here who wouldn't look to, like to look 16% younger in 28 days. It's certainly by the time you're 50 and above, we're all dying for that, right? Uh, you may not notice it when you're younger, but these are other results that are seen in those studies. Skin texture changes, skin smoothness, skin elasticity, all in those 20% changes in the cellulite improvement and hydration within the cell. The other study, this is a 12-week study done here in the United States. The other one was done in Dermatest in Germany, who gave it a five-star rating. This is on the complete skincare, and these are the other results shown for the complete skincare line. Changes in fine lines and wrinkles. Photo damage, that's huge. If you're about to get out in the sunshine and enjoy the benefits of the sun, we're creating photo damage. This was my first experience on a personal level as to the benefits. But I want to talk about that last statement on this slide, discomfort, because that's where I came into using this. 
Dr. David Silverman, who um, I was the person I went to listen to him talk about this technology, would talk about using this three times in five minutes if you have something that hurts or if you have a lack of range of motion. Maybe you've got stiffness on your, your hands. I know, Lynn, that was what brought you into this. Uh, if you've got problems with shoulders or necks uh, or knees, anything where you can't do what you would normally have done when you were younger or whatever is challenging you. So this is like the liquid. So if you have it, shake it up. And, and then what you would do is rate the level of discomfort that you have wherever it is on a scale of one to 10. One would be fine and 10 might be you're going to the uh, hospital because you're in such extreme discomfort. And then actually take it and apply it three times in five minutes. You'll see from the gel, I'll just show you here that it is totally clear and simply apply it to the skin. It is activating and signaling immediately. It's very light. You don't actually need to rub it in so that it gets absorbed. It will, the skin will take it up, but it is already working. Now, I guess I was coachable and I paid attention because the one thing that Dr. Silverman said was, while you drink this and you wait for your own personal benefit and rebuild, um, go and put this on at least 10 people and watch what happens. And I did that. I took it into my clinic and I used it on every single person who had some kind of discomfort. And the results and the outcomes really defied what I expected. I would see things that would go from an eight to a, a zero in a couple of minutes that were seven to a four in five minutes. And it really didn't matter where the challenge was. Everybody got some kind of degree of benefit. Now, if you don't see it diminish completely, just apply it once more and wait another five minutes. Uh, but I know that there are lots of people on the line who will swear by this. It becomes a go-to for all sorts of things. I just want to show you for a second here some of the physical outcomes of using that gel for 28 days. And these were the clinical study photos. You can see differences in um, puffiness under the eyes, kind of crepiness with the skin under the the um, neckline that is very common as we get older, hydration within the cells, different ways to use it, really improving that, especially for our elderly people who, you know, get stuck in um, retirement homes or assisted living homes, you know, you, you see a breakdown in that aging and that repair and healing response. This is Dr. Marty Marin, and he did his version of the 28 days, which we love to show because if you look on the left side of the screen, you'll see that it looks very different around his nose and around his mouth because he only applied this to one half of his face. And I'm sure his wife was very glad when he reapplied it to the other half and looked more normal. Uh, so I mentioned that we have a complete skincare line. And this was because uh, we wanted to create or they wanted to create something that is synergistic and supportive of the redox and doesn't destroy the benefits. We have a cleanser and a moisturizer. They are not redox, but they are synergistic with it. They are both bio oxygen attractors, so they prime the skin and they work with the redox. Uh, the moisturizer has a probiotic in it, which also protects the bacterial health of the skin and supports hydration. And the little small, uh, the small tube at the bottom called Reduce is 10 times is more concentrated than the ASEA. The ASEA Renew 28 is three times more concentrated than liquid and this is double that. So that is for fine lines and wrinkles. I'm just going to touch briefly on the fact that the other piece of making this complete cellular health was feeding those cells with really specific, well-sourced, organic, whole food, non-GMO um, nutrition. And they spent another three years looking at how do you put together the supply materials that work synergistically with the redox and support our body in a way that our body knows how to use those materials because it can only be through food, not synthetic vitamins. And we have a wonderful range from um, a, a cross the board source and fill-ins, putting in everything into our diet that we're not getting from our food and supporting us and helping make sure that we keep at peak performance with that food source. Biome is a wonderful um, probiotic that supports the integrity of the small intestine and the integrity of the gut and the brain as a result of it and really supports your natural immune system to defend you. Life Max is that vitality mechanism, the one that supports us in staying at peak performance, supporting cognitive health, cardiovascular, eyes and skin and brain. And the omega is the only one that's not vegan because it does come from fish, but it's uniquely sourced and actually extracted on the boats uh, out in the Atlantic. And it's just pristine in its production. So those are all part of what goes to make this a complete cellular health company. 
I would just come back to our powerhouse. This is the powerhouse, the Redox. And we are the world's first and only cell signaling supplement on the market for all the reasons that I said. And so how would you use this and how would you think about how much to drink? Because everybody's going to tell you that they do different things. Uh, I think and look at the daily consumption of four ounces as dealing with the damage of living today. You know, everyone ages and we get damaged cells on a daily basis. And the goal is that the body should repair and replace those so that we stay in peak performance. So that is kind of what we need to keep us at our peak. Now, if we come to the table to use this because we're bringing old healing that didn't get finished, old damage that's hanging around, maybe it has a name to it, maybe you've got, you know, some lots of areas that you're thinking about, that's where we would want to put in more because that we need additional support to, to go and address the things that didn't get finished, the body didn't heal and address. The more chronically ill we are, the more we're likely to need a greater amount of support for longer to give the body time to make the repair that it hasn't addressed so far because it didn't have the resources to do it. Uh, but the one thing about this is everybody finds what's optimal for them to keep them at their peak performance. And the one great thing about it is that the person who invited you is going to be able to help you tailor how you need to use it for your outcome. I want to just finish with our famous photos of Rosie uh, because I know that she is a reflection of the fact that this product is truly changing the way that I can work with people and doing things that I've never been able to do before. I don't have any single supplement that is going to demonstrate to you what you're looking at on the screen. Rosie's son is a doctor who was using this product and she started to use it and she started to use it at the age of 84 on the right and you probably would think that, that was going to be on the left. Maybe we need to mute there. Uh, seven weeks later she actually came back to her son and said I don't actually think this is working. Unfortunately, he was smart enough to do what we say to everybody. Take a photo because you will not appreciate the changes when it's only you looking at yourself. And she looked at this and she said, wow, I guess it is looking different. I guess I'll keep using it. And on that first picture, you can see lots of inflammation and aging and a loss of life and vitality in the human being behind that face. And here we have her as she... Um, reverses her aging at 87 and now at 91 and i would just remind you that the wrinkles we see on the outside are the wrinkles that are happening on the inside we don't get away scot-free <laughs> and so if we're changing something this visibly on the outside we know we're changing something on the inside uh, and therefore you know we truly are able to actually interrupt the breakdown of aging